up everybody, Blue Gabe. We're in Crystal River, Hang'em High Sport Fishing Charters, and we got a special guest, Bailey Griffiths, who's also a new captain, and she does scallop charters out of Steena Hatchie, and her parents own an awesome lodge there, and we're gonna get into that. Bailey, you gonna say hi? Hi. Grouchy Blake, you gonna say hi? Hi. Just tell all your fans hi that you love them. <laughs> I mean, you have so many fans here. Y'all, he's famous. I was in Mexico fishing the other day in a bass tournament representing the United States. It's like 5.30 in the morning in Mexico. I walk into the lodge, there's Blake on TV. You know you've made it in life when you're on TV in Mexico. We also got Redneck. Well, why are you hiding? Look how dirty he is from getting a fish line. <laughs> so we've already been fishing for like 45 minutes. Cap, how about popping that hatch? And we've got a ton of big convicts, which I call them soldiers, and everybody laughed at me. But we're after all kinds of stuff, hogfish, gag groupers, which we've already caught a couple of, and I'm going spear fishing. I brought my koa, my dive gear. It's gonna get real, real soon. Y'all stay tuned. Are you ready to catch something though? Yes, I'm super ready. You've actually caught more than me, so I gotta put the camera down. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you better catch up to us. Come on, fish. They're swimming over there somewhere. I can see him on my sides again. Oh, he's got one. Oh. Another big soldier. I don't know what do you call these prisoners. Another Convicts. big prisoners. Soldier. Convict. Con another <laughs> big know. convict. Hey y'all, we don't care. We don't fish for sheep's head on the east coast, so excuse I like that. that a lot. I'm gonna start calling them soldiers. Soldiers. I'm getting made fun of calling him a soldier. No, I'm not making fun of you. I just Ow. like that. Females are always better than males. In case you're wondering, sheephead's minds will go through rubber boots mm. and then go through all the way through your foot. Got it. All right, y'all done figured out the sheep's head thump. Y'all are in trouble. <laughs> That's probably going to be dinner tonight. You got one? Yeah, finally. Finally? What do you mean? You've already I, caught a couple. Yeah, no. I've caught two grunts in one sheep's head. That's a good one. Male. That's not bad. Yeah. All right, y'all. Let me show you what we're doing. Turn this GoPro off of my head. So we just got a knocker rig, 30-pound fluoro with a one-ounce weight and a J-hook. We're taking the shrimp. Pinching her tail off. That noise you hear in the background is a trolling motor. He's got an eye pilot, so it's constantly running. But for y'all to be able to see very good, I had to put the camera right next to it. We're just running the hook straight up through the shrimp's body and dropping it to the bottom. So a sheep's head, they're like a pecker. They peck, 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 peck. When you feel them thump and start pecking, you slowly pick up, and if they're there, then you set the hook and reel. Look at that. Oh. And I got the, oh, come off. I'm supposed to do it like that, only a little different. Yeah, I need you to get in the water here, tell me how many there are. I'm gonna get in the water in a minute. So I brought my spear gun, and my wetsuit, my, my weight belt, and my mask and fins, and I'm gonna get in and shoot something yeah, in the I'm face in a minute. It's gonna be hard to spear fish when I gotta look at all those gags and can't shoot them. This is gonna be it, trust me. I can feel it. Told you. Are you kidding me? You have Ooh. a endangered red snapper. A whopper. A grunt. You got a, an endangered red snapper? Yeah, 25 feet of water. Look at that. Yeah, Redneck, it's not yours. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. I was waiting for it. Dang. It's pulling. You got a real one. <laughs> I know. Actually, it might happen. That's something. Let's find out. Golly, what a sheep's head. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what about this one? Oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh, wow. Okay, that is a pretty good sound. No! Let me do this. You have a grouper. No! Come on now. <laughs> uh. Redneck, you don't want that, I'm telling you, buddy. You get a spine, you're going to be not in the happiest uh. places in this world. Oh, look at him tearing that Look at this, up. though. Hey, she's catching big sheep's head, and I just caught a nice gag grouper. I think that calls for a pitcher. All right, y'all, I'm going in for it, and the water's about 40 degrees, but we're going to go shoot something. Oh, oh my gosh. There's a bunch of them down there, I know that. I say finally found them all. A uh, sheep's head, I didn't see any hogfish. The water is so cold, it's like freeze your brain cold. This would be good practice for like diving in Alaska or something. Now I need to get in and try to find one hogfish. All right, y'all, three dives down, three big sheep's head. We're looking for hogfish, though. We're not gonna complain about shooting some soldiers, though. Bailey, do you enjoy eating sheep's head? Yes, they are absolutely delicious. Some of my favorite fish to eat. What is your number one favorite? Probably speckled trout or oh red snapper. Y'all know she's from Perry, Florida now. You hate you speckled trout. You can't beat black and trout. I don't like catching them. I don't like eating them. Well, you are absolutely crazy. That's like a, that's like black a and trout catfish. is like, oh my. Yeah. They come don't, up and they don't flip Don't you ever the, disrespect me like that. They flip up on the surface and they don't even that's fight. No, you've never caught a I good have trout. Caught them. That's like you've what, never caught a good trout. You just need to let me take you fishing and see how hatch. You put you on a couple gator trout and it'll change your mind. I like Some of them peel drag, so. <sighs> Y'all leave a comment below if you think I should go to Steena Hatchie and let her. Change my mind on speckled trout. Yes. Say yes. <sighs> she said say yes. Speckled trout is delicious and they are a lot of fun to catch. Captain Scheidler, what's your opinion on speckled trout? I don't eat fish. But do you like catching them? They're easy, yes. Yeah, I mean, it's like a good beginner fish. I'm so offended. <laughs> you just have not caught a good what trout. What did you do to that brand new shirt already? Oh, uh, that's where the, uh, that's where the sheep head got me. He got me good, right in my hand. Mm. High five. And I got some blood everywhere else. We're rocking it. 
Y'all leave a comment below if I should do a giveaway where you guys come on a spear fishing trip with me or we'll go do a speckled trout video with Miss Bailey herself and see what all this fuss is about with the trout because I feel they're boring. No disrespect to the sea species or any of y'all that catch them. They just aren't my favorite fish. But we're gonna change that. Yeah, do your thing, chicken wing. Oh, boy, cool. Here we go. Oh, so fast. <laughs> oh, All right, y'all, you saw it. Five dives, five fish, three big sheep's head and two hog fish. But we're here to fish. And when I'm spear fishing, they're not catching very much. So I put the dive gear up. We're gonna fish the rest of the day, go in. Bailey brought her dive gear. We're gonna get into the springs, see the snook and the manatees. Did you lose that one and he caught it? Yeah. I have a grouper. A grouper? Red grouper. I saw a really, really big red grouper on that dive. I forgot to tell you. Why didn't you shoot it? You're allowed? Yes. Oh, well, then I'll go back and kill him. He's huge. Really? Huge. Go kill, yeah. They're le it's legal, dude. Oh, I let a completely big red grouper go because I thought you couldn't kill him. Like, he's real big. Yeah. Way bigger than any of the g gags that are on the bottom. We Yeah, they're in season. Well, I just took my wetsuit off. Why didn't you ask this question? See, on the East Coast, grouper season's completely closed, meaning we can't kill any. Over here, it's just certain species that are closed. Come on, Bailey, I'm supporting you right now. Catch a big one. Listen, it's not for lack listen, of trying. Listen, Linda, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda, it's not just for catch lack a big of trying. One. The camera's rolling. I'm I out even... here doing my best, y'all. I'm sorry that he keeps bullying me. Like, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm out here, a girl is putting in work. What was that? I've torn apart shrimp. <laughs> But are you ready to catch a big gag? Absolutely. I was born ready. <laughs> oh, you're putting your shirt back on. You're getting serious. Oh, yeah, I'm getting serious. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it, though. Show us how you hook these pinfish. I didn't get one. Oh, man, he's putting you a big one on. Oh, lovely. Right there through the top of hey, the mouth. Hey, you were supposed to show us how you hooked it. Remember? I did, right through the top of the mouth. Right through the bottom to the top. Right through the top of the what? The mouth or the nose? Mouth. Right through the top of the mouth, people. You heard it here first That's from Captain Blake. No, from from Captain Griffiths. Oh yeah. Captain Blake's not very good <laughs> at talking. I don't know what to do with my hands. I'm like Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Please do that in a clip. I'm I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Okay, I'm kind of nervous for this. Let's close this. Oh, she's oh. Oh no. Oh, get him! The real? Get him! Oh, I broke off. No, I didn't. It just came unhooked. So what you do as soon as you gotta be ready. As soon as it hits, you gotta reel. Okay. It's the number one thing you only need to worry about. All right, reel. Blake. While I'm videoing right now, what did it? What did Amber Merchant say? I'm calling her out right now. What did she say about grouper fishing? That she's caught plenty of them and that they can't be that. They can't fight that hard. And what happened on her first one? She got drugged straight to the bottom and broke off. Amber, what do you think about that, Bailey? You know, <laughs> I don't have anything to say about that. I'm sure she did a good job. She did do a good job. 
All right, get you another bait on. Let's see what we can do here. Excuse me, sir. Right at, come here. Get. Excuse me, sir. Come here. All right, got well, him coming now. Come on. Come to mama. Come to mama. Come to mama. Come to mama. But would you recommend Hingham High Sport Fishing Charters? Most definitely. I give them a 13 out of 10 for a rating. Absolutely. Call and book with them right now. Golly, what a gag. Oh. Oh. Woo! That was a good arm workout, y'all. Woo wee! Show us that beautiful gag. He is oh. beautiful. Crystal River, y'all. Just gorgeous. For gag. See you another day, buddy. Oh. What you got there? I got a little gag fish. Trying to catch, apparently Gabe saw a big red grouper while he was free diving, so that's what I'm trying to catch right now. Well, if somebody would have told me they were legal, I'd have had him up for you. Show us that big old gag. And he's, he's actually been caught once, uh, twice. What about this Crystal River fishery? It is absolutely wonderful. It's something that I'm not quite used to because in Steen Hatchie mainly it's a lot of inshore with reds and trout. Offshore mainly just red snapper and some smaller gags, but out here we're catching just about everything. Mm. I gotta admit, I'm super stoked to go to Steena Hatchie with her. I've never been to that fishery. My grandma, like years and years and years ago when I was little, I remember, I think she used to live in Steena Hatchie or used to travel there and I've always heard that name and always wanted to go. Got me a connection now. You gonna catch that one? Get him, get him, get him! I knew you'd say some, some mess. Here he comes. Hey, it's that red grouper. It is that red grouper, you just caught a keeper. Oh yeah. Nice. Redneck, quit. Nice way to end the day. Woo! Great way to end the day. Couldn't have been a better day. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Here we go. Oh yeah. Let me turn. That's Beautiful what I'm talking fish. about. Nice red. We got a cooler full of fish, y'all. All right, y'all, so one of the coolest things about the Crystal River Plantation is they have a little marina. You can get on one of their tour boats and come out here to the spring. They have all kinds of dive gear to rent. Bailey's fins that she brought were broke. We went in there, took two seconds, cost eight bucks. We rented her a pair of fins, and now we're about to get in and go look at all these cool, there's snook and snapper and all kinds of stuff. We got to be at dinner in 30 minutes, so we got to hurry. <laughs> it's so cold. It's a little bit too cold for no wetsuit. We're getting the heck out of here. Hi, right, y'all. It was just a little bit too cold, wasn't it? Oh, way 
way too cold. But at the marina, they rent wetsuits, and I highly recommend doing that. I had mine, but didn't feel like putting it on. If you come to the springs, bring you a wetsuit or rent one, because it's just a little bit too cold. Lots of fish, the water wasn't as clear today as normal, but we got lots of fish to clean, and we got dinner to cook, so we'll see y'all back at the dock. All right, y'all, we are back in, and we absolutely slaughtered the fish. Some of y'all might say we kept too many. I said we didn't keep enough. We got families, we got friends, and everybody loves fish. So literally last night I was sitting at home editing at like 8 o'clock. He calls me and goes, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? I said, uh, editing. He goes, well, I just had a cancellation. I jumped in my truck, drove three hours, and got here because when he tells you to come and the weather conditions are right, you better get here in a hurry. Y'all, look at that, though. This is what we're having for dinner. Bailey wants to take some home because her mom requested it. But we're definitely eating some for dinner tonight. It's just like any other fish. Get right down on the backbone. Hold it up with your thumb. A hogfish reminds me a lot of a crappie or a speckled perch. If you get down below that belly, there's a whole nother chunk of meat. Look how beautiful that is though. What, do you, what, do you, what is your job title right now? Uh, I'm cleaning the boat. I don't know what job title you want to call that. Boat cleaner, I would have I would said. princess. <laughs> And I forgot to mention too, if you guys want to follow Bailey on Instagram, she's got a pretty cool Instagram, does a ton of fishing. It also has some of her business on there and her parents' business at the Steenahatchee River Lodge. What's your Instagram? Bailey Griffiths and Steenahatchee River Club at Bailey Griffiths. And just like that, we turned all those fish into Ziploc bags full of fish. We'll see y'all in the restaurant. All right, y'all, for those of y'all that watch deer meat for dinner, you've seen Chef Paul in action, but they're getting busy. We were late. We didn't get here at 5.30, so I'm gonna get out of the kitchen, let him do his magic, and we'll see y'all at the table. You're right out. Yeah, we got hogfish, grouper, and sheep's head, so he's cooking all three, but I'm not gonna stand there and get in his way. We're gonna let him do his thing. We're gonna sit down, and we'll see y'all when he brings it out. All right, drum roll, please. You can't, and, uh, we cook it. Uh, oh, look at that, though. Are you ready? We're ready. ready. Anywhere you can put it. Oh, macaroni. Okay, so this is this is our uh, smoked Gouda cheesy grits, soon to be famous. Soon to be famous. Uh, I think this is the hogfish. Yeah. That was sautéed, and it's got our uh, Florida uh, bacon gravy on it. Yeah. So it's uh, cream, white wine, tomatoes, and it's got a little bit of Gouda cheese sprinkled over the top. Then we got some broiled pineapples, just to make it look kind of Floridish, uh, with your red grouper. So we got black and sheep head, red grouper, hogfish. I'm glad you just gave her vegetables. She doesn't even deserve any fish. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, you bet. Thank you. Come back. We're about to dig in, y'all. I worked up quite an appetite catching all those fish. What many people don't know about Captain Blake is he doesn't even like fish. He catches and puts more fish in a cooler than most any human being alive for clients and doesn't like it. He's we gotta say a blessing real quick. Take your hat off. Ready? Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for allowing us to have a safe trip out and a safe trip back. Thank you for dying on the cross and forgiveness of his sins. Amen. It's really gonna be easy. Yes. All right, what you trying first? Okay, we need to even get some food. I don't know. Those cheese grits look pretty good. With your accent, it sounds like you've made some grits before. <laughs> Time or two. Yes, you are actually. I do enjoy the food butter, and I'm glad that we have a good All right, you're up, Sarah. Did you try the grits? Yes. Beautiful. Oh, Absolutely yes. beautiful. You just ate a whole entire lemon on camera. Whoa. Dude, you just ate a whole lemon. Can you eat a piece of fish for me and try it? You weren't supposed to see that. Y'all, did you just see him eat a whole entire slice of lemon, skin and all? Mm, yeah, I want to try this too. It has, I That's can, so good. 
has enough other stuff to get rid of the fish. So this is what the chef at Crystal River is known for, his grits and fish, and it does look so good. Mm, mm, mm. That is so good. That may be the best thing I've ever had. Here's the grouper. Mm. Try the black bit. You gotta put the sauce. Yeah, the sauce. Oh, you need the sauce. <laughs> is there a spoon for it? Just dump it. No, just you just want me to dunk it in there. Just dunk it. It's like an Oreo. Thank you for holding the plate. I really appreciate that. <laughs> okay, you see it here, folks. See. You've seen it here first, folks. <laughs> is it good too? All of it's good. I love it. It's real good. All right, we're going to sit here and eat for a second, then I'm going to come back with the second giveaway. And it's definitely going to include Captain Blake and Miss Bailey herself, or Captain Bailey and myself. And it's probably going to be a fishing trip. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we're done with dinner. The Crystal River, the plantation at Crystal River, amazing. And us three have came up with the ultimate giveaway. You have to go follow Bailey's Instagram. You gotta follow Hang'em High's Instagram. And you gotta follow mine. And you're gonna get a chance to win. What dates? 20, March 25th and 26th. One of those days, us three are gonna take two of y'all fishing. You gotta go follow all three of our Instagram. Now I know a bunch of y'all are gonna say, I don't have Instagram. Well, guess what? Somebody in your family, your cousin, your brother, your uncle, your best friend down the road does. Follow all three of us. And you're gonna get to go fishing one of those days with all three of us. And I'll put you up in a hotel that night. So all y'all gotta do is go follow all three of us, like I've said now the third time. Instagram, Bailey, me, and Hang 'em High. We're gonna be at my house in Stewart, Florida, and I'm giving away a one day fishing trip with us three to go catch whatever, a Goliath grouper, I don't know. You wonder how you're gonna win? Well, we're gonna randomly select. And we're gonna do that off of all three of our Instagrams. Bailey's headed back, Christina Hatchie. Yes, I am after eating a nice meal and having an awesome day of fishing. I'm heading back to Stewart, Florida. Hang him high and his girlfriend are staying here because they live here. But Redneck and I got a three hour ride home. I'm gonna go home, start editing this video tonight, get it up and y'all will see it tomorrow because that's how we do it. Like Jake always says though, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.